If you need your jack for the trail and want a solid way to carry it, this off-road jack tailgate mount will be a great option for your 2007 or newer JK or JL Wrangler. Now this is gonna be great for the JK or JL owner looking to optimize their space when it comes to their recovery tools and an easy and very accessible way to carry their trail jack. Now this will fit JLs with or without the Mopar tailgate reinforcement kit and JKs with factory hinges, but does not fit with the Mopar JK tailgate reinforcement. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Now this is gonna feature a bolt-on and adjustable design, making it very easy to install and it's gonna be able to tailor to your needs while also having a universal jack fitment so you can really mount up any farm jack that you have. Now speaking of the fitment to the tailgate, the tailgate mounted position will allow for a maximum of a 35 inch tire and JL Wranglers do require the use of a spare tire extender kit. So just keep in mind that if you have an oversized tire and a JL, you will have to add that in addition to this jack mount. Nonetheless, the system makes it super easy to store the jack safely. It does come with spacers for a rattle-free design, so you can have some peace of mind that this is going to stay secured on the back of your tailgate. Now, this is also going to be very easy to access, like I mentioned before, um, and you can access your jack very quickly. All you have to do is unthread the knobs here and pull the hitch pin, and you'll be able to use your trail jack for a trail recovery scenario. This kit is made of a 1 8 inch thick heavy duty steel construction, being tough enough to support the heavy weight of the jack and hold up to the elements when it's mounted up to the back of the Jeep. This will also feature a black powder coat finish on top to protect the steel underneath from any rust or corrosion, but also blend in very well with other heavy duty components, especially heavy duty tire carriers. And the kit will also come with everything that you need, like the longer bolts and all the hardware needed to mount it up. Now, I do want to mention, while this is bolt-on, JK owners will have to modify the plastic shrouds if they do want to keep them, and there's an included template in the kit for that. So again, it's going to be very straightforward. This will come in at about $125, which is pretty average as far as a price point is concerned. Now compared to other options, this is able to work with a number of different kinds of factory style mounts and is universal to any form jack that you have. It's also vertically adjustable and it makes it super easy to mount and access your jack with a worry-free design, making this a great choice if sturdy and easy is what you're looking for. Install will be a lighter two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and it will take you about 30 minutes to get the job done with the right hand tools. Now speaking of the install, one of our customers here at Extreme Terrain has installed this on their Jeep and is going to walk you through what that process looks like step by step. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install the off-road jack mount from Extreme Terrain. This is going on a 2017 JK Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. A uh, little bit different with the JLs, but uh, if you have a JK, this is what you'll need to do, the tools and the parts. You see there's a spare tire on here. I will take that off before starting, which you'll see in the next video. But before then, tools and parts. These are the parts that come with the kit. The parts at top, will not be used uh, in this installation. Those go to the JL. The spacers here will not be used as I do not want to put the shrouds back on the hinges. I like the uh, metal Jeep hinge look. <clears throat> the other parts are laid out, primarily tightening knobs and eight millimeter bolts with washers. One smaller eight millimeter bolt has a nut on it, retainer nut on the back course the mounting bracket and the support bracket. The 42 inch farm jack is available from Extreme Terrain as well. Tools, you'll need a screwdriver possibly to get the plastic shrouds off, a round Phillips shaft in case the plate inside your tailgate slips, of course lug wrench, take off your spare makes it far easier to install this thing. A half inch wrench, half inch socket with ratchet. And over here, a drill with an eighth inch bit and a one and an eighth inch hole saw, safety glasses, and then that's a piece of the template. I'll show you how that would go if you wanna put the 
shrouds back on. However, I will not be doing that. I'm gonna leave those parts stock and in a box for when I trade this in. First step is to remove the factory plastic shrouds that are on the back tailgate hinges. I get it started with that flat blade blade screwdriver. They pop right off. If you wanna save these, we'll be, I'll be showing you how to drill those in a second. Next, we're gonna start removing the factory tailgate bolts. We only want to do kind of one at a time. We're going to start with this lower left, and this is where the eighth inch socket will, or I'm sorry, the half inch socket and ratchet will come in handy. You take them all off. Um, there's a plate inside your tailgate that these bolts mount to. It's a threaded plate, and so that can slip. Um, it'll slip even with one coming out, but I'll show you how to uh, compensate for that. So we get this out, goes into a box of factory parts for later. You'll use an eight millimeter bolt with a washer that I already threw on there. And we're basically going to line this up. Normally, one of the steps would be to drill these shrouds, put the spacers in. I'm not gonna do that. I like the look of the hinges here. It's just like the door, so less plastic on the Jeep, better for me. Get this started. By hand. I'm just gonna hand snug it. And what we're gonna do is just slide it out of the way. What will happen next, we'll take these two bolts out. This will mount like so, and then the small eight millimeter bolt will connect. The nut will be in the back of this unit and go to the mounting jack stand right here with the bolt going through the front. For now though, it's going like that. We're only taking off the top right Take out that top right bolt on the upper hinge. Both of these have to come out because the uh, mounting jack is big enough you can't really work around it. And speaking of which, I had the tire. I took that off before I started. May not be necessary, but gives us plenty of room to uh, install this and I needed it so you could see it on the video. Our last parts, these are the eight millimeter bolts with washers and the shorter eight millimeter. And I just have that nut on there for now. Set that all. So before I do this, there's a plate inside here with the threaded plate for the other uh, bolt. So what can happen? That plate just slips down. Put the round screwdriver in there. Kind of get it. Actually, we'll do it this way. Get it nice and snug. Or centered. And then what I'm going to do is snug this whole thing up. just to hold it in place so, place so the other one slides right in evenly. So, nice little trick there, just with the Phillips. This bottom one goes through the support bracket, that bottom hole. That plate behind it that we just centered. I have this pulled up so it's hitting the top of the hinge with the top of the bracket, but that's just me probably not critical and snug. And we're ready for the last bolt. 
this is going through this front bracket into the support bracket behind. And for this, we'll need half inch wrench to hold it. Now we can snug these all down. Starting with the center one, and I can get the wrench out of the way. Checking this alignment again here. You'll see that that lines up perfectly on top of the hinge here below. And there you have it, that simple. I'm gonna go back real quick and show on the tailgate how you might drill this out for the spacers if you choose to do that. This would happen before that last step. Safety glasses. The top hinge, you put this pattern that's in the instructions on there, and with the eighth inch bit, you would drill one hole for the top. That's a pilot hole. Then the other pattern has two holes for each of those bolts that we just installed. You drill each of those pilot holes. You then put in the one and the eighth inch hole saw and go back each of those pilot holes and drill that. That's where the spacers would go that would show through this shroud and then that whole support bracket and mounting bracket attaches on top. Again, I'm gonna leave those stock for future. So, no drilling today. And the last step. This jack, I have a neoprene cover on the actual jack, so it might look a little different. So the jack sits right on the stand like this. I have a couple of parts. This long bolt with the hole in the end will go through from the spare tire side and it seats in the slot. Spin that on, we'll hand snug it. Last, T block, obvious. Slide the bottom part of the T inside the jack. There's two flanges there. And then this piece will screw right into the bottom of it, essentially securing the bottom of the jack to the bottom of the mounting plate. Tighten that up, tighten that up, we're good to go. The parts come with a clasp, or a pin rather, but I'm choosing, I have a small lock that fits perfectly in that hole. So I'm choosing to put that on just to secure. So with that, I'll put on the spare tire and it's ready to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and the install, this off-road jack tailgate mount fitting all 2007 and newer JK and JO Wranglers. And remember for all things Jeep, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.